What's going on folks? I want to take this time to show you all pretty much what's wrong with your vehicle when your window won't go down or up. Most of the time if your window won't work pretty much the problem may just be your switch. A lot of times those switches can get dirty or just old or something where you got to change a switch out. And a lot of times you'll know that because when you're hitting your switch for your window it won't do anything at all. But if you were to jump it I actually have a video up showing how to jump like a bad, a bad when a bat when a switch is bad. I have a video up showing how you can disconnect that switch and then jump directly into the power source and let your window up or down. And of course, if you were to change that switch out, then your window would work right. But in those cases to where it's not your switch and it's actually something else going on with your window where it's not working, a lot of times this is what your problem is right here. This is like your window regulator. Pretty much this is what your window kind of um, rides up and down on up this track right here if you can see so if you see right here your window pretty much connects onto this piece right here and you have this basically wire right here this metal wire right here that you can see it coming in here also it's like a pulley system that's going all the way up and over which you can see right here and back down going into this part right here which is actually what makes your window go up and down this whole piece right here moves up when you hit your button it comes back down when you hit your button so a lot of times if say you changed out your switch or you tried to jump but it still won't work what your problem most time is is not that this cable right here is, is actually broken it's this right here which is actually your motor so a lot of times I'm gonna say a window regulator but this right here is bad and that's the reason why even though you got a good switch when you try to let your window up or down, you won't hear nothing at all. A lot of times a change it sounds pretty simple. You can see you got a couple of screws over here that you could take out and change out this motor. Or a lot of time, if say you're close to a, a junkyard or something like that, you could probably go if you have an old enough vehicle and find this whole regulator right here, which is only held in by most time about maybe uh, five to six screws or something like that that's holding it into the, the frame of your your door itself hold inside of your door and of course you have to take off your door panel and take out a couple of screws and you'll be able to take out this whole unit and replace it with another unit now say for example you was to go to your your let your window up or down and you hear noise like mm, up or down but your window's not moving what that's telling you normally is is that your motor is working good you hear like the motor noise working but your windows won't move in so then what it normally means is that this cable right here is broke this is like the pulley system that of course over time these cables can break sometimes you can see how it is it's on this side and it's also right here inside of it so it basically runs down all the way comes around here and up into your lift that lifts your window up or down then it runs all the way up to the top and goes around here so a lot of times these cables right here can break, which means that you'll actually have to have a new cable ran into it. Or most time it would just it would make sense just to go ahead and buy another unit, especially if you can just get this whole assembly pretty much for pretty cheap off of a, a junk vehicle or something like that. And it should take care of your problem. All right, folks, I just want to take this time to kind of give you a look at what it is that controls your window inside of your vehicle and also what's normally wrong when your 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 window won't go up or down and you've changed out the switch you try to jump and it still won't work most of the time you have a bad window regulator or motor which is what this is right here you can see right here where it plugs in at this is bad but like i said but if you're hitting a switch and you do hear like noises going on like your motors working but your window still won't move or even if your windows kind of jumping a lot what that tells you is that either this is broken or sometimes it could be really frayed to where like the metal is kind of coming off of it and if that's the case a lot of time you'll hear like a metalish sound when you're letting your windows up or down because this metal wire pretty much as it's going up around these pulleys is getting caught on stuff and a lot of times if it stays like that for long enough it'll cause this actual metal line to break itself and then you'll have to replace it but like i said it may be cheaper just to get you a whole new unit like this which is your uh like i said a whole new window assembly which a lot of time will come with your motor but you can buy the motor separately in case you just want to take out these four screws right here 
and just replace that motor. You can buy it separately a lot of time and just stick a new motor inside of here. All right, folks, once again, this is what's inside of your car door, um, inside of your vehicle, which controls your window going up and down when you hit your switch on it. All right, folks, once again, please check out our helpful videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.